Hello everyone, my name is Misal Hernandez and today I'm going to be uh, discussing oncotic pressure. Uh, to start off, oncotic pressure is a very simple concept, um, but when you Google it or when you YouTube it or when you Wikipedia it, it's a little bit complex, so what I've done is I think I've broken it down to a simpler form so everybody can pretty much understand it. Oncotic pressure deals with how the body um, regulates fluid, in particular how albumin, a protein, regulates fluid inside the body. We have three major compartments. We have a, the compartment inside the cell, the intracellular compartment, the extracellular compartment, which is also the intravascular because it's still outside the cell. There's fluid also there. And then we also have the interst interstitial compartments, which are inside the tissues. Now, the reason why this is so important is because we don't walk around with edema, with anasarca all day. We walk around, generally speaking, like this, not swollen or anything like that. And that is uh, brought to you by albumin. When your body manufactures enough protein, uh, by the liver by the way, or when your body consumes it so the liver can manufacture it, then essentially oncotic pressure is maintained and you don't have fluid shifting from one place where you want it to a place where you don't want it. Like let's say your tissues and you develop periorbital edema, for an example. So what I'm gonna talk about right now is how you can memorize the relationship between those two things. Well, what I use is something called a pimp and a harlot. Um, I think we all know what a pimp is. Um, a harlot is, for those of you that don't know, uh, look it up. But essentially it's a prostitute. But don't use the, the P word for prostitute. What I like to talk about is the pimp and the harlot. They have a relationship. The pimp, generally speaking, dictates where the harlot goes. You could go down Park Avenue, you could go down uh, 12th, uh, 12th Street, but you cannot go down Gary because that's somebody else's. You guys kind of see what I'm saying? So the pimp dictates where the harlot goes. Well, the P and the H are there, and this is not to, um, not, to not, not for you guys to think that I'm talking about potential hydrogen and pH. What I'm talking about is just the letters P and the H, so you can remember that there's a relationship between the P and the H, pimp and harlot. There's also a relationship between the proteins in the body and H2O in the body, correct? So the analogy goes like this. If a pimp tells a harlot where to go, well, then pretty much he's only going to those specified regions, such as the fluid. It only goes to those specified regions, intracellular, extracellular, and interstitial compartments. But when something happens, when you develop acute glomerulonephritis, what happens? We develop proteinuria. We lose the proteins. We lose the pimps. Uh, when you have uh, nephrotic syndrome, same concept. When you have um, liver cirrhosis, your body cannot synthesize proteins anymore, so you're in lack of proteins. So the analogy continues by saying that if the pimp gets arrested, well, now the harlot is free and she could essentially go up anywhere. And she goes down Gary Avenue strutting her stuff and looking all cool, right? Well, you can apply the same concept to the proteins. If the proteins are either not being manufactured or they're being lost in glomerulonephritis and nephrotic syndrome, well, the proteins are gone and now the water goes everywhere and you develop anasarca, which is generalized ana, anasarca, which is generalized edema. And you'll see this um, with um, patients that develop, let's say, nephrotic syndrome and they develop periorbital edema. And that's essentially how, it's, um, how it works, guys. So I hope you guys understand oncotic pressure now. Again, for recap, oncotic pressure dictates where the fluid in the body goes. It's carried out by proteins, in particular albumin. And the protein, excuse me, the protein tells the fluid where to go, just like the pimp tells the harlot where to go. When we lose the pimp, when we lose the proteins, the water, or the harlot, right, goes everywhere she wants or the fluid wants, and that's how you develop anasarca, guys. So I hope that helped out, and there's more videos to come. Thank you.